Hello, this is Carol, your health coach, and I'm happy to see you there. It's another segment where we'll be talking about self-love. And as always, it is an honor to get healthy and stay healthy with Caro, your health coach. As I sip my lemon water here, I would want us to think about something. Let's, be, let's think about peace of mind. Let's think about how do you invest in this peace of mind that we talk about? What are some of the tactics that you use? I want to share with you some of the things I've learned in my life and uh, they help me so much in maintaining my smile. Most people ask me, well, how, how are you always smiling? Is it that you're not stressed? Yes, I get stressed, but I, I've learned how to deal with it. So one of the things I've learned is that you can never, ever dictate or change how a person views you, how a person thinks about you or about a certain situation, or how a person will respond to whatever situation that you share with them. So one thing I've learned is I am in control of what I think. I am in control of what I say. I am in control of how I react. I know you've had enough times whenever we are told that 90% of everything is how you will react. It's just 10% of how you will behave towards someone, towards something. So, um, like for example, if you meet someone who, for some reason, maybe they are stressed out of, because of other things, and then they want to transfer that anger, that confusion, that frustra those frustrations to you. So what do you do? Do you sit there and get frustrated? No. I refuse to do that. I have met enough times, I have been cyberbullied, but I have refused to sit there and be that, that thing or that person that they want me to be. I have refused to allow anyone's frustrations, anger that does not relate to me to come and hit me. It is easier said than done. It has taken a lot of practice. Um, I remember when I, was, when I was diagnosed with cancer, and uh, I shared with some few, th some few people. There's one person who told me that they would rather be diagnosed with HIV than with cancer. And it really hurt me. And I was like, how could she tell me that? How could she think like that? And I was so angry. I was so angry. But I remembered that is her opinion. That is her thought. So I changed and I said, you know what? It is not me who chose to be diagnosed with cancer. No, it is not them who chooses what to be diagnosed with. It is the, my current situation, so I'm going to fight. And nine years later, we are seated here talking about it. Today, I don't, have, I don't allow those feelings to get over me. So I would want to share that tip with you. And maybe it will help you in deciding how you react to every situation, to every person, to every circumstance, to everything. Because when you choose yourself, when you choose your smile, when you choose your happiness, when you choose your peace, when you choose your health, when you choose the positive, you will only attract positive. You will only attract happiness. And when the negative comes, you will be able to block it, keep smiling, get healthy and stay healthy. Why? Because it is important for your mental and for your heart and even for your skin. So the next time you feel like you're losing control the next time you feel like someone is trying to transfer something to you that you don't want block it smile move on concentrate on what is working and leave what is not working this is carol your health coach i remind you to subscribe to my youtube channel and as always i'm happy and always happy when rejuvenating nature's beam until next time let's see you bye bye